Needs a big fill. Light hit. Let's see. Going to do some damage. Yes. Oh, a lot of damage. Boy. Look out. Look out on the 10 pin. Nope. It's not going to hit it hard enough, but <laughs> wow. Knock down nine, and we can still see six of them. Crowded down there, but he uh, puts the spare up. That could have the skin unless Dan Gothier takes it with a strike. And it puts him into second place at 194, temporarily anyways. We have not had any strikes here in this second game, so that'll be a carryover to the sixth box. Oh, that's oh, a yes. big shot for Dan Gothier right there. How big is it? Boy. So as we go to the break, three spares up for the four bowlers, and you see how big it was because Dan Gothier and Rich Clark are right now in a very tight battle for second. We'll be back on Candle Pin Skins in a minute. Dan Broder is working on a spare here in box number six, which is a carryover skin worth $30. And uh, he's at that point in the game now, too. He needs a huge fill on another mark. He just needs some help. A little full in the one-two pocket, just five. Eight box for Dan. 69 through six, and after throwing a 108 opening game, Dan's got to hurry. And this gentleman has been in the lead most of the way, and he's being threatened now by two bowlers. Ooh. By Rich Clark and Dan Goth here, so. This is gonna be tight. Paul's just trying to bail out of this box. And he does with an eight. Two eights. So more chances for Rich and Dan Gothier to close the gap here. We could have a great three-way battle here coming down to the end if this keeps up. Rich Clark on a spare. Oh, Crick kicks out the six pin. And a seven, but boy, he's got a tough leave. That wood didn't turn the wrong way and just stayed right there. It's going to have to come up real high, the right hand tip of the wood. And then there's no guarantee. You know? Nope. I was just thinking that being a lefty and everything, Rich reminds me of Ed Jerolman. Yeah, there you go. I don't know if Rich will like that or not, but I, it's a compliment. He did, did pretty well on our show. <laughs> Another eight. Three eights. Here's the spare attempt miss. He did what he could, but. Didn't get the break. Well, did Dan Gothier break, beat an eight? That's what he needs. He did it. <laughs> you just missed it on camera, but Dan Gothier put his arms up in the air, little pump sign. Is he thinking about skins or what? <laughs> He's got the money already. The $30 carryover skin. And another spare, more importantly. And he is now taking the lead in the match. Wow. And he still has a ball to throw on that fill. Box number seven as we come down the home stretch now, the seventh box worth $25. And Broder's still far and away the skins money leader here today. But he is also far and away in fourth place. As he is uh, 41 pins out of second right now. Make it to 37 pins out of second. Trying to direct traffic on the piece of wood. I'm sure he'd like that wood to be out a little farther. Yeah, I think it's a little deep, but he's still going to give it a shot, I'm believing. No. <laughs> Dan with a nine. Paul St. Pierre, who threw that 155 opening game, has only had one mark here in the second game. And the four horsemen right. 
One, three, six, and ten, and really needs a mark desperately. No, oh, he plays it outside. I thought maybe he'd get caught in the middle there, but the ball kept cutting hard to the left, and it went far enough left to convert the spare. This turnaround puts a lot of pressure on Rich Clark, that spare, because he's chasing Paul and Dan right now. Right in the pocket. Oh, yeah. Oh, big strike. Woo. Oh, how big was that? They get bigger as we get deeper into this match. Crossing over Brooklyn pocket for the left-hander, the 1-3. It was light, but heavy enough to carry it. And he may win the skin. Let's see. Yep. Rich Clark takes the skin for $25. And this match just keeps getting tighter and tighter. Spare for Dan Gothier. Well. The skin goes to Rich Clark. The eighth box will be worth $25. Dan Broder just trying to get out with a nine and well, his only hope now would be to try to pick up some skins on the way out here. No, there's still $100 in skins money available as we come down to the final three boxes. Now, the three guys who are still in this thing, really, Paul, Rich, and Dan, are all, Dan got here, all working on marks here in the eighth. Seven drop on Paul's spare. Three, five, and ten left. For two in a row. Yep. Two clutch marks. Take Rich, a look at that one. Rich Clark has got to try to keep pace. Of course, he'd love a double strike. He's working on one now. Ooh, waffle that time. Lofted that one a little further out on the lane. That'll go. <laughs> Who was that? Who just said that'll go. I think that was Dan Glothier. <laughs> we turned around and gave the ball. He oh, was did miss it. <laughs> that wood swung around and just missed clipping the two pin. And a 10 box. Let's Game see what happened. Yep. Watch the three pin. Right between, clips the four, and just misses the two pin. Spare is good for Paul St. Pierre. Dan Gothier working on a spare, and it's a nine drop. Well, it's helping his cause as far as total pinfall. Needs this to have the skin. And uh, Paul St. Pierre is leading with the spare, so you know he's going to knock this one down and take it away from him. <laughs> oh, look out. this time. He pulled it. Pulled it. Paul St. Pierre takes the $25 skin. He just kinda... easy, it? <laughs> Dan Broder said that was easy, wasn't it? 10 for Dan Gothier. Now let's check the pinfall total situation. There it is. Now, Dan Gothier with that 13-pin lead over Paul St. Pierre, but Paul's working on a mark, remember. And closely behind is Rich Clark at 238. This ninth box worth $25. One and three left for Dan, trying to put a spare up for the skin. And drop that one a little bit behind him. The top two finishers here today will come back next week to join two, uh, two more bowlers coming in. One newcomer and one veteran. Mike Curry from Springfield, Vermont will make his first appearance with us. And Mike Sargent from Bradford, Mass. One oh. of the veterans will also be in. Paul St. Pierre with a nine fill on his spare. Big nine, because he was only ahead of Rich Clark for second by three pins until that drop on the spare. Oh, he misses oh, the spare, though. Pulled it badly to the left. He knew it right away. Well, chance for Rich Clark.
Rich needs a mark. He's got eight already today. Rich seems to uh, venture over to that Brooklyn side a lot. That time he missed it. Looking at the one, two, seven, and ten. Nope. get what he can it's just seven so Dan Gothier comes up in another situation where he can uh, both improve his position and grab a skin here with a mark Rich is already in really a double strike situation Rich Clark well not exactly a spare leave no <laughs> the two, two nine and ten but he got a piece of wood there so he can snap that wood off the wall and come across Regardless of what happens, Dan will be leading the match going into the 10th. Nope. Oh, big this, carryover. This is going to be very, very close here. Single pins. Single pin difference from first to second. And then a little bit of a drop-off down to third. You see it there at the bottom. Dan Gothier, 262. Paul St. Pierre at 260. But Rich Clark still in it. 15 pins out of second. And that was a carryover skin, by the way, with the tens, of course. So the last skin of the day will be worth $75. Either here in the tenth or overtime if we have to. Three four for Dan. For a spare? No. It's a 10 instead, a 107 for Dan Broder, 215. Well, Dan can only hope now that nobody else marks and maybe he'll still be in it for that last skin. Paul St. Pierre. Remember, he is in second place right now, but he can make it very, very difficult. Actually, he can lock out. Right. Rich Clark with a mark. Well, he won't do that, so Rich can still beat him with a double strike. There's a 10 box for Paul, a 115 and a 270. So he seems pretty safe, but hey, Rich Clark, first time here, has thrown a bunch of strikes. If he puts two together here. Well, they like one. That'll put him in the lead for the skin. Wow. Well, the $75 is still there. Although we've now determined that it will be Paul St. Pierre and Dan Gothier returning next week. There is the spare for Rich Clark. And he could still walk away with the skin here. He'll stay up to fill that mark, of course. Determine his total. Two uh, very good games, too, by Rich Clark. But he's going to fall just a little short. No, oh, just well. one on the fill. 127 and a two game total of 256 for Rich Clark, which is going to be just short. Dan Gothier needs nine pins to win the match. There's that. So he will finish first, and now he needs this to have the skin. And if he does have it, we'll take a break and come back and settle it in overtime. And there it is. We will take a timeout when we come back. All four bowlers are still alive for the last skin of the day at $75. We'll return in a minute. All right. Uh, the total pinfall situation is all settled, but we still have the matter of a $75 skin. So all four bowlers are in it for the first box anyway. Dan Broder shoot the one, two, four, and seven. And Paul St. Pierre will shoot at a bunch. <laughs> he missed it to the right. Dan Broder for the spare. Oh, no. that close. Great effort. Can Paul make his? No. no. By the way, uh, after we cut away to that break, Dan Gothier threw a five fill on that spare in the 10th. So he finished with a 137 and a two game total of 279 to win the pinfall situation. 
Well, there's nothing up there yet. Much uh, <laughs> scary. A nine for Dan, a seven for Paul. You see the the uh, totals at the bottom, and the two in yellow are the two guys who are going to. Uh, I take it back. There were two in yellow because they haven't bowled yet. Dan Gauthier and Paul Saint Pierre are coming back. Oh! Clark. Well, that may be worth $75, maybe not. It's all up to Dan Goff here. Can he match it? Looked like a pretty good ball going in. But... No, it'll be $75 for Rich Clark. That settles the last skin of the day. And we'll be back to wrap it up for you here on Candlepin Skins after this break. Welcome back to the Londonderry Bowling Center. Candle pin skins in the books. And let's take a quick look at the total pinfall once again. We had that uh, overtime skin to deal with, but the pinfall was already settled. Dan Gothier, first time with us here on the Winds of New England, finishes first at 277. Paul St. Pierre will be back again. It'll be his third week. Paul has uh, got this thing locked. He's finished second now twice in a row, but he's bowled well. Rich Clark, his first appearance with us. He rolls a fine 256, but not quite enough. And Dan Broder's streak ends at four in a row. Now let's look at the prize money. Dan Broder will leave here with some more money, though, even though he didn't win the match or come back again. Dan Broder with uh, $155 in skins cash. Rich Clark taking that overtime skin for $135. The two guys that are coming back finish third and fourth in the money, but they'll get a chance to come back and earn more next week. Well, Dan had a tough day, but he got him when he needed him, and he won a few bucks in skins, and uh, of course, both the rookies, their first time with us, bowl extremely well. That's right. So next week, Dan Gothier will return, and so will Paul St. Pierre. They will be joined by Mike Curry from Springfield, Vermont, and Mike Sargent from Bradford, Massachusetts. We hope you'll join us next Saturday. Don't forget, tomorrow at noon here on the Winds of New England, we'll have our singles program from Park Place Lanes in Wyndham. Paul Berger will go for his second win in a row. He will face our number three seed, Stu Bergman. Until then, have a great weekend everybody. For Dan Murphy and the whole crew, I'm Doug Brown. We'll see you tomorrow.